Good day to you. My name is Chelsea and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I created this channel to share my experiences through my breast cancer active treatment, as well as my experiences and thoughts as a survivor. Today, what I'm going to share about are my thoughts about post mastectomy revision surgery. So to back up a little bit, I had my mastectomy five years ago now, and when I was going through the consultation with my surgeon, it was always talked about that there would be most likely three steps to surgery. It would be the initial mastectomy and placement of the expander. Then it would be the expander to implant replacement surgery or exchange surgery. And then most likely there would be a third surgery or revision surgery. Um, she explained that it is the hope that revision surgery would not be necessary, um, but we could cross that bridge when we got there. So for me to have my second surgery, which was the exchange surgery that changed the expander to the implant, it took over a year. So that was a really long time to, um, to have the expander in my body. It felt like a long time too, um, but I did finally get it exchanged out and at that point, I was very, very excited. I really wanted to be, I really wanted to be done. But over time, it, uh, it became apparent that a revision surgery was going to be recommended. And there's lots of different reasons why that may be recommended. Um, it could be, you know, balance. It could be the size and fit with your body. It could be that there is some puckering. Um, there's lots of different things that, you know, can be tweaked so that they can become more right for your body. However, what I've noticed now being, you know, five years out from the, my original surgery, and four years out from my exchange surgery is that, that final surgery, the the revision surgery is is not as easy to get in for as the first two were and that could just be my experience but i found that when i had my first two surgeries i was i was in it life was put on hold most definitely for the first surgery i was in full on cancer cancer fighting treatment and i was not working and my life revolved around you know doing all the things I needed to do to get rid of the cancer. So my schedule was clear. When I moved on to the exchange surgery, so for me, as I said, a year and a half later, life was starting to get going again. Um, in my specific case, I was not back to work yet. So they offered me a surgery date. And at that time it felt like, yes, finally, they offered it to me and I was like, I am there. Easy peasy offered, taking it, got it done. Now I am three and a half years past that time. Life has changed. I now have a son. I am back to full-time work and it is not so easy to get in for that last, hopefully, surgery, the revision surgery um, because of life. And I know that if or when that day comes around, I know that my husband's going to be very supportive. Um, I am going to have to fit it in between my work schedule somehow. And I'm going to have to consider that there's going to be a big recovery time where I'm not going to be able to pick up my son. I'm not going to be able to hold my son. And it just feels, it feels different. At this time, it feels... It feels less important, even though for me, it's something that I think if it were done, it would make me feel, it would make me feel better. I think that having the, the revisions that have been recommended by my surgeon would make me feel better in my heart. Um, I think it would make me feel more like I was quote unquote done. Um, like I could just check that one off the books and we can move on and I don't have to worry about kind of this, this surgery looming over my head. Um, and the other thing is that I found 
and once again this might be different wherever you're at that once once I was not in the cancer fighting stage of my journey it is a lot more challenging to get in for the surgery the wait is longer the wait list is longer being that my life is not a threat now I definitely feel like that's the way that it should be because when I was on the other end of the stick when my life was in threat I received the priority treatment that I needed so I'm not saying that I want to take the spot of somebody who needs that treatment what I'm just saying is it's, it's something to keep in mind that Perhaps not always are you going to be able to get in for that surgery as soon as you want. Perhaps it's going to be more challenging or it's going to take longer than maybe it took to get in for your initial surgery or exchange surgery. Um, so that's just something to consider. So with all of that in mind, if I were to, I think if I were to go through the process again, heaven forbid, I think that I would do the revision surgery at the first chance that I could. I think that that's what I would do. And it's, uh, it's easy for me to say that now in this position, time has passed. Um, and I, I tend to, I really don't like to regret decisions. I feel like decisions were made in the moment with the, the information I was given and that was the right decision for the right time. So it's, I can't, it's hard for me to explain. So I, th I think I would make a different decision given the information I have now, but at the same time, at the time for me, I don't think it was the wrong decision, if that makes any sense. But just a little insight for you if you're if you're coming across this decision maybe these insights coming from someone who's now five years out from their initial surgery this will help you make your decisions with perhaps some information that applies to you i hope that this was helpful for you um i wish you all the best wherever you're at in your journey if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to join me again next time for some more insights hit subscribe. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time.